um, I had a video out back then before um, the election, and I was telling everybody that he was going to win anyway. I kind of, I kind of knew that he was going to win. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but like I said, it, it, it's something that, that I think we need to be looking for closely to see if, if he does continue to feel, fulfill the prophecies that 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 are in Scripture, you know. And um, another thing you were talking about, the emotion. Um, mm -hmm. I think that that's another form of deception, you know, and, and to sway people to get them to, to do the things that you want. Um, I don't know if you've watched the latest video that I put out. It's um, about Lupe Fiasco being uh, doing some things with the U.N., yeah, I watch um, I watch all your videos. I'm like, I get okay. notified when you have a new video. Oh, okay, awesome. Well, the thing about this, I was watching this video that he did for Haiti in the earthquake, you know, and I'm listening to the music and I'm watching the video and there's so many moving um, pictures and images of the Haitian people and the struggle that they were going through. Um, during that time, and I have a lot of friends, close friends, that have family in um, in Haiti, and some that that lost people over there. You know, mm -hmm. and so you know, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, wow, you know, this is real powerful. But I'm listening to the lyrics, and I'm saying, wait a minute, here we go again. He's talking about like a phoenix out there from the ashes. You know, now anybody that study. Um, you know, masonry or the occult, you know um, the spirit rising from the ashes is symbolic of Satan and his rebirth. And, and scripture even talks about, um, I forgot what, what, um, what chapter and verse it is, but it's about how, how God cast him out of heaven. And he said that basically um, he would cause a fire to erupt from inside of him and he would cast him out in, into heaven and, and he would be in ashes and all the kings of the earth, all the people of the earth would be able to see him, to, to behold him, to upon him. And so basically this video is saying we're rising from the ashes, we're going to follow angels into heaven, you know, and he's saying we'll rise and, and resurrection. And really the, the lyrics, are, they're talking about something totally different, different than what, is actually uh, being shown to you in the imagery. It's moving imagery, but the lyrics is something totally different. They're talking about rebellion right. against God. You know, so once again, they get you with that emotional thing, you know, so you're going to run to support it, but really, you know, you have to stop and, and wait, let's listen to what he's saying, though, you know. And let's not let our emotions uh, get the best of us. Is he on the same label as Jay Z? Well, he's uh, hooked up with uh, Atlantic Records, and I believe Jay Z's last album, Blueprint Three, was released on Atlantic Records as well. Which is um, ultimately, um, it's a subsidiary of Vivendi uh, Universal. Right. Uh, so, you know, there's that whole connection there. I mean, Vivendi owns you know, a lot of things, you know, telecommunications, um, uh, music, television, publishing companies, you know, and they're a water supply company as well. That's how they were started. And it's kind of funny that, you know, both Jay-Z and Lupe are um, promoting a clean water system for Africa. Now, I wonder what company they're promoting that for, right? They're going to put nanobots in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you have to watch them, man. Yeah, you got to watch everything. You know, I used to work for a, a record label for about a year. It was um, it was a subsidiary. It was called uh, University Records, and they launched uh, a group called Pure Soul, and they were like a one-hit wonder. They had the wedding song. I forgot the name of the song. And then they had Drew Hill. And uh, I was uh, uh, like a, a, a producer of, of music myself, and I was taking pictures for the label, and I was around everybody in it, and I, was, I just became 
disillusioned with everybody. I uh, I remember going to the Black Radio exclusive in 1993, and I was taking pictures of uh, Andre Harrell and Mary J. and Jodeci, and it was just such a, a turnoff that um, I just kept my computer job. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's something, right? You, you find out once you get up close and personal that the, the quote unquote beautiful people they, they aren't that um, beautiful. Inside. Here's here's the irony. I was I was taking pictures. There was Barry Gordy, Andre Harrell, Mary J, and Jodeci, and um, I'm listening to them get some award. And Jodeci was thanking God and talking about how important God was in their life and 15 minutes later I'm watching them get into a fist fight at the bottom of the elevator yeah yeah so yeah. Well, I don't really yeah, man, I don't I don't really understand God. them at all yeah and that goes back to what we were talking about earlier now what God were you actually thinking of? you know mm -hmm. okay. well I just feel bad for him sometimes I just feel really bad for like I'm looking at Jay-Z and Beyonce and, and, and their parents and I'm like do you know what's at the end of the rainbow right right well the thing is the bad thing about it is that they have been to see even worse than uh, the people that listen to their music and are being deceived right now they've mm -hmm. been deceived even worse because they've bought into the whole you know worship Satan thing and, and they're taking it to, to the door, basically. They're riding it out, you know, and, and they're on deception as well, you know. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's a rough thing, you know. I, you can't be, you know, mad at them because they're victims as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And maybe if someone came along and was able to witness to them and, 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 and tell them of their need for repentance and salvation and how loving God really is and how he doesn't want them, you know, to go to hell. You know, and he doesn't want them leading others to hell, you know. Uh, I mean, look at what, what he did for, for Saul, who was persecuting the church, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they murdered Stephen and, and brought, you know, his things in front of Saul, and he, as you know, as looking for approval. But then we you know the, the story of Saul on his way to Damascus when he became Paul and, and then became, you know, a witness for God and went on to do great things, you know, for the faith. That's just amazing because he. Did he write, um, did he write Corinthians? Yes. And Romans? Yes, Romans, Corinthians, that's long. He, he wrote a lot. Yes, he was responsible for a lot of that, you know, so. Well, let me tell you about, um, something I'm embarrassed about and I feel like I'm cursed with now. When I was in my, uh, early 20s, when I was living wrong, but I was doing a lot of reading. It was part of my, my journey here, and I was reading on ancient Egypt, and I was just so Afrocentric at the time. I was, I was hitting up the black bookstores, like probably dropping $1,000 in them like every month, and just reading and reading and reading. But I went to a tattoo parlor, and I got the onk tattooed on my right arm. Am I supposed to cut my right arm off? <laughs> no. No, no. Well, see, that's the thing. And I, I have tattoos as well, and that's from, you know, before. Um, like I said, I, I, I knew Christ, but I was still in the world, and I was still, uh, you know, I was lukewarm, you know. Um, so I don't think that God looks on you, looks at you from the outside. He looks at the inside. So, yeah, that's there, and it's going to be a constant reminder of you. And basically, not for nothing, this is something that Satan tried to, tried to use against you because he's high six time is the accuser and he mm -hmm. so he wants to always accuse you. <laughs> look at this, look at this is what you really are, you know. To try to beat you down your self esteem so that you don't feel like you're worthy of salvation. Right. 
and and looking at our past, the old man. But you know, God tells us that that old man is gone. 